The toolbox that you find in Logic Pro has a lot of different edits that you can do with just one click. So in today's video, we're going to learn about how each of those edits affect our tracks. If you're new here, hi, I'm Florina Jean, otherwise known as Flow of Music. And if you like music production related tutorials, don't forget to subscribe and like. Let's get into the video. So in order to bring up the toolbox, all you have to do is just click the letter T and this pops up. So you have all these different settings that you can do with just one letter. You can also go up to this pointer, click that and you get the same settings as well. So we're going to go through each of these things. The first one is pointer tool. When that is selected, it's a normal way of handling things like you can click and drag it wherever you want. You have this small bracket that comes up in the bottom right of a region. You can shrink it or you can extend the region. If you want to loop it, you do the same thing, but on the top right, and it loops the track. So these are the functions you can do with the pointer tool. The next one, you click T and the shortcut is P. So just select that. Now we have the pencil tool. Pencil tool just helps us create MIDI regions. I already have a MIDI track here. So when you just click on it once, you're gonna get this MIDI region. When you click E, you get the editor opened up. Even over here, you have the same settings. So when you select that and change it to pencil, you can actually write notes down wherever you want them to occur. It's actually like you're playing the keyboard, but you're just drawing the notes out. So that's also possible. So these are the things you can do with a pencil function. The next one is eraser tool. You click a track and it just deletes or just erases out. That's the basic function. The next one is text tool. You can select this and then you can click on a region to rename it. So guitar track. And then you can click this to write whatever region name you want to give. Next, we have scissors tool. This basically cuts a region. It can even cut MIDI regions. And one of the cool things that the scissor tool can do is actually divide regions in an equal manner. While pressing option, if I cut it over here, see all those regions got cut in an equal manner. So according to the distance the first region has, everything has the same distance. So that's really cool when you're trying to edit something and you want to do something like this very quickly. This is your shortcut. Moving on, we have glue tool, which can just, you know, select everything and it automatically glues them up when you just click it. So even here you select everything, click that once and then it joins together. Solo. Solo just helps you to solo and play a particular region. If you want to just listen to this region, click and sustain that click. And that happens. So you can click and just drag it out to let it play. So that's just a quick tip to help you solo regions. Then we have mute function which just mutes tracks like that. You can just unmute it by clicking back at it. Then we have zoom tool. So zoom is used to zoom in a region. If you want to zoom in this place, just click and drag and it just zooms in. You can go on doing that. If you want to come back, just click on it once and it goes back to the previous setting. Click on it again and comes back to the default setting. After this, we have fade tool. It's a very common technique that we use to fade in and out any region. Obviously, fade tool works only on an audio track and not on a MIDI track. So remember that. So you can also cross fade things. After that, you have automation select tool. So before that, let's just click A and then let's put a couple of automation points. Now, when you go ahead and select automation select tool, you can just click all these automation points. It just helps you click everything in the same time and you can just move them up and down. When you select automation curve tool, it basically makes it in a curve shape. See, I have these two points and I can just click and move it up and down and it moves like a curve. Then I have marquee tool. This is one of my favorite functions that you can do in Logic. Basically, you can highlight a region by clicking and dragging. You can click delete to remove it. Command Z to bring it again. You can even double click to cut. These are some things that will be very easy, especially when you're recording and you want to edit a bunch of audio tracks. And after this, we have flex tool. If you want to give some type of tempo change or any other change in your song. So basically, once you've select that, you just click and you move it like that. You're going to hear it differently now. It's going to sound stretched. Did you notice that? So it's going to stretch and make the audio sound a little different. It's going to place the accent or whatever in a different beat. 
And finally, I have a tool called gain, which is just used to increase or decrease the gain in a particular region. Sometimes this will be useful when you have a recording and certain sections are quite low in terms of volume. You can use this to, you know, cut and bring up the volume there. All these functions that we spoke about are also available in the neighboring small function area as well. Let's say I select marquee tool. So while pressing command, I can do whatever I want. The first function will just happen when you press the, you know, normal click in your mouse itself. But this will happen while pressing command. Always you can click T and then you can easily see the shortcuts that are available. When you click P, it's pencil, E, it's eraser, and then I, scissors tool, J, glue tool. So like that, you can remember the shortcuts, then it becomes way more easier and your workflow becomes a lot more smoother. So that's all about tool functions that you need to know in logic. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video.